It's been a long time coming, but still I'm on smash. Never no breaks, I'm giving them all gas. Living for today, middle finger to pass. Also give it to the ones who thought I wouldn't last. Fake ass friends, never been family. The more I make moves, the more these niggas can't stand me. Smile in my face, but no one they wanna ban me. Make up any lie so niggas can try to hand me. Tell it to the pen and telling it to the streets. But nigga, I'm in tune with the pen in the streets. No room for defeat when you facing a real low. I ride by my lonely, so I see behind the smoke. Can't wash one hand without washing the other. Cause I'm a real keeper, and my motherfucking brother's point guard of the streets. Some plays I had to change up. Nothing stay the same. Remembering how I came up. Dreams of a scholar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are now tuned in to Eastside Radio live with Lil Bam. And it's your girl, Sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> and that's it today. Well, yeah, that's it today. We got one absence. <laughs> You know, uh, Jazzy got to get that flat tire fixed, you know. Got caught caught on the road. I don't know if it was a nail. Forget what he say, a brick. Man, he at home. I'm just kidding. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> he at home chilling today. Probably was. He sounded like he was in it's the like, bathroom. like, man, you know what? I can't even make it. It's tired. You know? I think he was just tired. You know, I don't nobody want it. Just like calling off at work. So I was like, damn, because it was an echo. I'm like, damn, you changing a flat tire. <laughs> Shit, that shit bouncing. Is, right. is that the shower running? Like, no, no, no. That's the cars. That's the cars. No, no, no that was your voice bouncing off of the toilet. <laughs> that's what it was. But nah, you know. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he get it. He get it. He get it situated. But um, that was that uh little bam right there. The intro, the point guard of the streets. Y'all can find that on iTunes, on uh, the new Apple Music. You know, download it, or you can even get it at uh. LilBam.BandCamp.com for hard copies. And today's conversation will be saving our youth. You know, we're going to get back to see how, uh, you know, a lot of people have drives. It was a Save the Youth, uh, Save Long Beach uh, drive yesterday. Uh, Went successful. But the the thing that I think a lot of people be missing is, uh, you know, saving our youth. And, um... Because that's what you got to get to to save anything, you know, in, in order to save how the world is going to be. You know, they want to, I don't know, I think the focus don't really be on what it needs to be on. And that's really capturing the kids because shit, the adults. I have a question, though. Okay, why do you feel or why why don't you think the focus is on the kids? Or where do you think the focus is? Like, I have I have my own, like, where I'm going with this. But where do you think the focus is? Hmm. Um, the focus is on self. And then after that, money, um, you know, opportunists. It's just, it just went in a different direction. Because in order for you to, you know, w- once you get to a certain point in life, you're already there. You, It's it, you know. I mean, not saying you can't change, but once you get to a certain point, you know, I always, I always, uh, Heard certain people when I was growing up, where you at when you're 30 is where you're going to be at when you're 50. I mean, it's just. Well, if, if you if you make it that way. Well, I mean, you got to look at it. Think about it. If you when you when you 30, you should be set in. I mean, anywhere between 30, 35, you should already be set. You should have some form of career or, or something. You should have you should know where your life is going. If you 35 and, and there's nothing wrong with. People getting jobs or part-time jobs, that, that's not what I'm saying. But if you still part-timing and just really trying to figure your way out at 35. Oh, yeah. Then, then, you, yeah. then that's a, then that's an issue, yeah. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you figuring, you're going to be figuring out life until you, until you rest. That's just, that's my theory on it. But, you know, you got to get to the, the eighth graders. Really, even before that, you got to get to, I say, the 10-year-olds. Once they start developing that. Well, attitude, if you if you will, I think you should start at birth. I think you should start at birth because first off, your kids will only be as as smart as you allow them to be. Um, If you don't focus and you don't take the time when they're babies and when they're kids, oh, they're toddler. Okay, I'm just gonna sit in front of TV so I can do what I got to do. I see that happen a lot. I'm not gonna even lie. Sometimes I do do it. Like, man, I got stuff to do. Let me sit them in front of TV. Let me do this. But 
Okay. Okay. But you you, you got to start it from well, from birth. Well, really. But, but, but see, it's certain things easy said than done. Easier said than done. That's everything. Now, when, that's when, everything, y'all. Yeah, but but when I was growing up, you know that, and you know I, I use my mom's my mom's era. You know when they was growing up, you had the neighbors that was like family. Mm-hmm. The family was family, so you know you had to look out for your cousin as y'all walk up the street or vice versa. You know you the the help was there. Now. See, back then, it wasn't really a, a big era of babies having babies. See, now you have babies having babies. What? No, no, no. no, uh, no. Babies been having babies since no. forever no, because no, no. my mom was a baby when she had me. I know a lot of babies having babies. No, 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 no. See, yeah, they slipped through the cracks. <laughs> they slipped through the cracks. No, it, it, it's, you, it's no way you're going to say it was. Now, it was a lot of stuff going on back then, but you didn't. you didn't have the... The way it is now, every baby has a baby. Every baby has a baby. It's so it's so crazy now. See, th- this is the thing. It was a secret, or it was damn near. You know, you was gonna get in trouble growing up in my mom them era. That shit, find out you pregnant. Mm-hmm. Shit, now a thirteen year old be pregnant and she proud, and and it's no repercussions to it. It's nothing. So it's like that. Well, you know what? It's kind of weird though because. You know, people see you'll see somebody in their thirties like pregnant, and you'll look at her funny, like, "Oh my gosh, she's pregnant!" Like, like thirty five. If you're thirty five, and you if you see a woman that's 35, 34, 35, 33 to like thirty six, pregnant, you kind of look at her like crazy, like you too for what, old. For what reason? <laughs> because she's too old. But who said? How, why are you too old? Well, I, I'm not saying that. But no, I'm that just, is, no. That's how people. That's how our generation is looking at it now. Like you have to have a baby super young. And I think now they 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 competing. Who can have the baby the fastest? Like let's see if we can have a baby at 14. See, but I don't think it's that. I think I think um, people are distracted. So they can't focus on their kids. So when their kids finally do grow into people, they're not whole people because their whole lives, their parents has been distracted with their own lives. So when they grow up, they're looking for something. And when they find it in another person, like, you know, they don't even know themselves, but then they end up falling in love. And then you get so deep in love, you want to have a baby with this person, not realizing you about to have a baby forever, not for 18 years, not for, no, forever. Like, I'm 27 and I still be like, mom, like, what's going on? Like, you know, so. Okay, so that's the, that's from a relationship standpoint. No, I feel like, well, yeah. Yeah, that's from a, a but, girl looking at it. But that's, girl. that. I, I would say that's like a woman's, po- like a woman wants to be married and like, you know, I'm not going to say every woman because I know it's some ratchets that just love to be ratchet. But they I'm still, just, I mean, but, you know, for, but, be but for the most part, you know, women want the, the, the basics. Like, you know, we want a family. We want to be. What's the basics? The ba- what's a the family. Basics? Like, you know, you want someone who loves you, who respects you, who treats you right. You know, let's have a baby. Let's get married. And not, I'm not saying in that order either just you know they want the fairy tale because girls grow up with barbie dolls and princesses and fairy tale stories so we're we're i feel like we we are meant to are not meant to but we are brainwashed now i wouldn't even say brainwashed no, i don't no, know what no, the right word no, is right there right, but fill in the, the word the, the, the blank brainwash. fill in the blank when we're grown up or like we're growing up to be taught a certain way like oh play with the barbies play with the dolls you know oh want to cook want to clean want to see you know. so that's the that's the point that's the see so so even far as that like when, when the reason why i say the, the reason why you know it's it's uh, a, a key point to even save the youth because that's the next generation. So that's true. that but people don't understand what the next generation is. So they'll start from the 18 year olds. You have to you have to go to where it's starting. Yeah, you get to the you you could get to them, don't get me wrong, you get to them, but when this when you got the seven year olds that's mimicking what's going on and, and everything really the, the the moral of this is how do we save the youth? It's not how do we save our kids like our biological kids. It's the the kids out how there in society. How do we save society. our community? But when when you do that, everybody has to take action at fault. From parenting, you know, to I mean, because that's where see once you when you have that discussion, nobody is gonna fess up and be like, okay, well, you know, everybody else will point the finger and say who the bad parent is. Mm-hmm. 
No, oh, well, they, they not doing this. <laughs> but it's the it's the lack of parenting. It's the lack of brotherhood, sisterhood, all that. You have, I mean, because it, it don't just come from, you know, the, the parents. It comes from the siblings, too. It could, yeah, it comes from everybody. Because everybody forget it takes a, what, a tribe or it takes a village to raise a child. That's true. I really believe that. I don't believe that you can just raise your kid by yourself. Are you you going to need help. You're going to need somebody at so some we, point. We we got a phone call. We're going to see who we got here on the phone call. Caller? Uh, my name is Selena. Hey, how you doing, hey, Selena? Hey, Selena. I'm doing good. <laughs> um, I, I want to say two things. I want to agree um, with what you're saying about... Um, the the youth and the parenting starting getting to the kids early at an early age. Right. You said something about um, seven and all that. I had my first daughter at 13. It's about the environment of everything. What's going on in the household. Right. What's going on in the streets. What that kid is allowed to absorb and not to absorb. And what is being watched by the adults and what's seen and not being seen. Right. So with all that said, this generation that you're saying that is racing to have babies, they're not racing to have babies. They don't even understand what they're putting themselves into. Because at that age, their mind is not developed. It's being manipulated by individuals in the circle right of their circle dang so what happens is once that child becomes pregnant now they are becoming developed into an adult it's a pre uh, a pushed adult right so then it becomes the circumstances do this child stay a child and be a parent in a child's mind or do they get to grow and be an adult and have people supportive around them to help them be an adult and a parent? Okay, um, and if I may ask, how old are you, Selena? I'm 45. You're 45, okay. So, see, it was errors to where certain certain female, the, 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 the girls growing up now... Girls are getting a, you know, they, they, they menstruals and they periods at 10, 11. That was me. <coughs> right. Nothing now, new. No, no, no. Yeah, it's that's not, it's, not, and it's, that's it's, what I was about to say. No, it's nothing new. It's, it's it's nothing new, but, you know, it wasn't nothing of the norm. Well, well I'm not going to say of the norm because when, when you had generations, you know, my mom had hers at 16. You know, same way with my sister. Then my cousins, you know, there's, yeah. there's, it, it, I mean, it can be a, 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 you know, if you want to look at it, the, uh, the diet. I'm going to say thing, it's, 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 it's the environment. It has nothing to do when, when the woman starts her menstruation. It has nothing to do with it. My personal opinion, I feel like it is the environment you're around. Everybody around you acting grown, you're going to be acting grown too. No, right, right. But, but when, when, when I touched on the, the race and the have babies, only reason I said that is because when I listen to when you listen to conversations that these kids are having, when you listen to the conversations, the conversations they feel it's cool to have a baby. That's it, true. It's, they it's, do. it's cool because so they don't look one, at it. Once their mind is set into feeling something is cool, it is a race now because now who can be the because that, that's everything now is to you know is it, it, to be cool. But thank you, Selena, for calling. I really do thank appreciate you, thank that you for calling that, that call and your uh, input on that, Selena. I appreciate the call. Sound good, girl. Man, yeah. Well, that was yeah. She, that was tight. No, I'm she. Sorry. I mean, she. Okay. She. I, I. I heard and you know felt the the passion um, coming from her. You know, uh, I don't know exactly. You know everything else that's going on, but you could you could hear it. You know that she was passionate on what she was speaking on. But mm -hmm. now that you look at it, schools okay. It's a what is it? Corona High School. It's crazy, and and it's a it's a few other high schools. Now they have it to where shit. It's a daycare on campus. It's a daycare on campus. So kids is going there, ninth graders. 10th graders are going to school with their babies 
and putting them in a daycare. So it's damn near like the schools is promoting to get pregnant or is promoting, you know. Yeah, that's crazy. That, that's that's the never seen that growing up. Never seen that. So the, the, the way things are shifting and the way it's turning, it's like, man, like it, it really don't make no sense. But when we get back, you know, we're going to go into uh, another song off of Point Guard of the Streets. Y'all go get that EP. It's available right now up on iTunes and on LilBam.BandCamp.com. Yeah. Feels so good. Yeah, yeah. Up here, you are now tuned in to the double C D C C D double C backwards. This that fresh off the porch. Flick of the cigarette, joint the ashtray, niggas asking who killing it. Coming from the land that'll dust ya, and I got a city full of niggas that'll rush ya, but you can't trust a nigga on your right, cause that nigga on your left, he'll dump your own sight, and he ain't live life before he take your life. He only 14 without a future or a dream. Is it the white man scheme or a scheme of our own to brainwash our youth and have them crippin' on their own? A new debt to society. To stay drunk, no sobriety, it's time to come clean Fake OGs really lied to me <laughs> Had me on some bullshit Before I pulled the trigger, shoulda told me this was bullshit The truth is, always in the pudding A boy in the hood, but ain't shit Cuba Gooden The moral of my story is, I live my life way ruthless But niggas think life is just easy Cause I grew up in the era with niggas that knew better Whole city blue, so I'm reppin' the third letter Past don't regret that, two times bet that The set, I'ma rep that, disrespect and wet that Nigga, yeah Get that fly helicopter shit Look at the success of the niggas that ain't follow us That played out for a map, was laid out Put a blower in your pocket, my nigga walk out the house No names, just monikers And most only tough when they mounted up Why you got a bluff, watch your gangster bruh Bang, bang, fuck fame, they living for a gold chain Them niggas cocaine, soft like ice cream You better off with hoop dreams Niggas so lost like it's the routine Be your own boss, that's 2G CD, smell, see, think it be a Puppet by nigga who was nothing that wants you to say fuck it is too many inspired by the influence. So it don't seem like oh we just bashing everybody. Yeah, yeah, we back, we back. You tuned in live, East Side Radio with Lil Bam. Yeah, and this your girl Sky. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, talk East Side Radio. Talk East Side Radio on Instagram, Instagram and Facebook, talk East Side Radio. Leave comments about the show, what y'all feel, certain uh conversation should be about you know you could you could go ahead and uh you know you could get your input on whatever you know it's no uh no closed caption on that at all you know and that was uh that was brainwash from myself <laughs> little bam and uh my boy booby soprano y'all go and get that but uh we're talking about saving our youth you know, how how can we save our youth? How do we get to saving our youth? What are the, you know, proper protocols in the saving our youth? Do we do we save them early? Do we get to the I mean, how I mean, how do how do we do that? What, I mean, what's the what's the bait? What's, what's the, the bait? What's the bait? <laughs> how, do we fix, how do you, we I really mean, do, how do we fix You know, it's it? like when you're a teacher, when, when, when you're a teacher, I mean, do you bait them in with influence? Do you bait them in with. I mean, uh, something that you feel they like, because, I mean, it, it's damn near that's what you have to do now, because everything, the two things that's taken over. Music. And drugs, Ooh. music and drugs It's I mean, so it, it's so many drugs out there. I mean, that's an influence. And I mean, that's that's one thing we need to save our youth with. That's that's one thing we really need. Well, to it's do. it's what they think is cool or what they feel is cool. Like if if every rapper is glorifying drugs and and all the craziness, mm-hmm. then of course that's what we gonna look at is oh that's tight that's cool like oh what oh relapse oh this whatever it is like so I, I, and I think the fine the fine line between that the fine line between that on on dealing with that is. I would say we competing against money and the influence that mm-hmm. that they have on the youth now 
is I would say uh, uh, the entertainment, entertainment. But uh, we're going to go into this call right now. Uh, Carla, are you there? Carla? Hello? Yes. Hello. Hi, my name is Precious Bell. How are you? How are you doing, Hi, Precious, Precious Bell. Bell. I'm, I'm fine. Good. How are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> we doing good. Bell. We doing good, Precious. So today we are talking about um, how to save the youth. Well, um, I feel like saving our youth starts with the parents. I feel like we as parents need to check ourselves and stop mm. letting these kids mm. raise themselves. Mm. Hey. Myself included. <laughs> Myself I, included. No, I feel you. Check, and my, my, one of my New Year's resolutions is to become a better mother. Oh, that's dope. That's super dope. That's dope. Oh, I appreciate that. It's going to be crazy. It's already getting there. Man. The no. social media is making it crazy. It really is. But everything, like every is, all of that. It's too much things being seen. That's what it I is. think. So you feel it's that so all this stuff at an early age, and then it's like everything's chaos. So you feel saving our youth, we it, it needs to start in home first. Exactly, because we're our kids' first teachers. What they see with us is what they're going to try to emulate. Period. Damn. So the you, lack thereof. If they, if they don't see it with us, they gonna see it from somebody else in the streets or wherever, and that's that's what they gonna become. So if we grab our kids and we really raise them into the people that we really want to them to be in, in the future, then our future will be so much brighter, and they'll have a chance. And oh, oh yeah, you are that, family. It's gonna be a wrap. You are family. <laughs> you hey, are man. family. Well, thank you for the call, Precious Bell. Hey, thank you, Precious. Opinion. All righty. You got a good one. You too. Right. Bye. That was a good, that was a, now, nah, I mean, that was a great point. We it got some good it, callers it, calling in today. But it starts with the, <laughs> it starts with the parenting. Like she said, I mean, we are the first teachers and that's, I mean, who would you want your kids to emulate? You know, you or somebody else? Joey down the street. Yeah, uh, Karen up the block. Uh, you know, Karen that went around the block a few times. It's like that. You know, you <laughs> don't. You don't. Want, you don't. Yeah, you don't want your kids to emulate that. You know, and and, and with that, it's like man, like. Yeah, what? but I. And you know what I think? I think a lot of people or a lot of parents are unaware that they're not spending as much time or not focusing on their kids as much as they think they are. Right. So I think that has a lot to do with it. Well, and the point that I was going to make earlier, you have, just think about it. You, you Okay, we trying to better our youth. We trying to better them, right? And when you're trying to better something, it's always that alternative. It's always somebody else, somebody else out there that's going to try to counter that with the bad. And I look at that like far as the industry. So... The industry has the influence to put what they want out, meaning these machines, you know, these major corporations and networks. They can put out positive stuff if they want to. Right. But see, the positive stuff, they feel not selling. So we're going to stay pumping the negative. And if you stay pumping the negative, that's all whoever is, you know, Lil D in the hood, or, <laughs> you know, Lil Coco or you know, that's all they going to know, and that's all they going to see. Mm -hmm. And when they see those images, they feel those images of uh, are of them. So these are, shit, so, okay, everybody got to be a, a crack addict or a dope dealer or a gang member. Or a pimp. Or, yeah, or a prostitute, you know. Or so, a hoe, yeah. I mean, it, it, it goes both ways. It's a double-edged sword, but we have another caller. Caller, you there? Yes, Pierre from Long Beach. What's up? What's going on, Pierre? How you so, feel? How you feel? Pierre we should save save our youth, my man. Oh man, um. Or what do you feel it should start from? Like, what what's the 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 the, the first steps to saving our youth should be? Uh, well, the, the first step of saving the youth to me is uh, it starts at home. You know, good good home parenting and um, catching them while they're young, nipping it in the butt before they get out there and you know get in the streets and get curious on all the other stuff that's out there. You feel me? Okay, get some so, water, yeah. Yeah, what, what about when they in the streets already? Because we touched on, um, you know, starting at, you know, the house, the home. <clears throat> so what about when they go into schools? What what else do we, what, what else can we do, Pierre from Long Beach? Uh, well, when they, um, 
you, you're talking about when they already in the streets as far as involved in- I, I, I say say seventh grade say you got you know you got a daughter son seventh grade they're being influenced by everybody around them that oh i'm cool because i'm in a seventh grade now like you know you got the cool middle schoolers like who think they grown who start cussing and start doing crazy in seventh grade that's when crazy stuff like you know you feel like you're a preteen or you're a teenager you're working your way to something and now you're starting to know everything so what do you think you know what is the next step the second step after home ask what the 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 second step is uh Man, I, I say just keep them involved in, in um, like, programs, like, just keep them busy with stuff that, um, like, sports, and and unfortunately, a lot of that stuff got cut out, you know, like, the after-school programs got right. cut out. Man, right. that's crazy. So, because right. I grew up, when I grew up, there was a lot of after-school programs. Right. And um, freelance programs, and if, if your mom was, like, I grew up in a single-family home, your mom had made uh, low income. They would let you go out and get a job and work, you know, and help you buy school clothes for the for the um, next year. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So yeah, that- once all that stuff cut out, it's just like when I grew up, it was um, luck- luckily when I grew up, there was a lot of dancing involved. It was street dancing. So I, I veered from street dancing before before games, but eventually the street dancing played out. So I didn't really have no other choice but to start hanging with the homies that was already involved with gangs. So it's kind of hard sometimes you grow up in the element of that's all you know. Right. And that's, Man, that's, that's yeah, that's all you know. No, so right, amazing. right. Yeah, so that was, that was, uh, no, respect that call, though, uh, Big Pierre from Long Beach. Re- respect that call, man. Uh, appreciate you calling in on uh, Eastside Radio. Yeah. That's, yes, sir, always. Much love and respect to Lil Bam. Long Beach out. Long all right. Beach out. All right. <laughs> Now, man, see, and and reason why I like conversations like this is because every direction that they can go in, the directions that they go in, is all going to come back to the parenting. Period, point blank. It's going to come back to the parents. Yeah, but what else do we have, though? Because, you know, but, we got parents who work all the time. So when you ex- can't spend time with your kids. No such and then thing. You really, no, no such well, thing. I, this is what I mean. Because right now, no I have sons, but they at home. I can't be with them right at this moment because no. I'm right here at this moment. Right. But, so what I'm saying is, <clears throat> what else? I mean, I, I, and I'm, I was talking about the older kids because my kids are young. But, like, right. if... We don't have a lot of after school programs or programs at the park like we used to have. Like, no, true, true. I mean, we had them, we had them growing up, but see, and and that's the thing, even now, kids having kids. But if you know, when we was growing up, we played, yeah, excuse me, we we played. You know, you moved to a new neighborhood, it wasn't nothing for us to go knock on a new person door that moved to the neighborhood to mm-hmm. ask if he could come outside, didn't know shit about him. Didn't even know they parents. Now, the damn eight-year-olds is mad-dogging the eight-year-olds. Like, man, what the hell is you doing? Where are you from? <laughs> like, but no, it's serious. So it's like, it's like you, you see where the energy shifted. The energy shifted so much to Because everybody got to be grown. Everybody feel they got to be grown But, but they growing up fast, and it, it's, it's less discipline in that household. If a kid is not worried about getting their ass whooped, Kid gonna do whatever they want. Well, I mean, but, but it's not only ass whoopings. It's not well, only that. No, it's not only ass whoopings. But guess what? You, you, when you come from a background of getting your ass whooped, or you know, shit. Hey, what, what you gonna do? You gonna stay outside until that street light come on and worry about your homies bagging on you, or, or you gonna go home? No, no, you gonna go home when you supposed to. Or you gonna wait for the you know street light to come on and go get your ass whooped? <laughs> is it is it worth getting your ass whooped? Hey. Sometimes it's worth Man, it. Man, please. Hey, no, for all y'all, sometimes it's Man. worth it. Mm-mm. See, you, you ain't never got negative <laughs> influence right here. No, it is not. No, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not. My dad whooped ass. He didn't. No, uh, uh-uh. uh, fuck that. See, he went. He what? whooped. He had old fashioned. I said seven ass o'clock, whooping. not seven o one. Go get the belt. No, nah, no. Nah. See, oh, we didn't get oh, belts. Oh, oh, oh. So we what didn't you get, get belts. What you get? What you nah, get? No, nah, Oh, no, let's get, not even go into yeah, it. Uh-uh. That's what, that's child. We didn't, no, nah, it wasn't child, but that's the thing. <laughs> it, that's the thing. No, I believe, I believe in, I believe in, you know, disciplining your child when the moment is, I, man, I talk to my kids more than anything. I, my, our communication is 
is there because hey do you know why you're getting in trouble do you know why because you're gonna know every reason why you know discipline is coming i'm not about to but you know the funny thing about it sometimes people take for granted how intelligent and how smart they kids are mm -hmm. you're gonna ask your kid do you know why you're getting in trouble that kid is already well, conjuring <laughs> up something in his brain well, I know why I'm getting in if trouble, you, but I'm going to still, play the, like that, I'm a still play the if, role, if you, mom. <laughs> if you teach them like that. My son is six. Oh, and he's... Uh, and he is like... A hell of a manipulator. No. He, all kids are. Well, all kids yeah. are, but you know, I, this I, I tell my son, like, man, you're a part of me, so I know when you're lying. So are you really going to lie to my face? Hmm. Are you really... I, you came from me. I know everything about you. Like, I know more than you know about yourself. And this is what I'm telling a six-year-old. So he's like, man, okay, look, this is what happened. Okay, yeah. boom. And then our, our, our thing is, you tell me the truth, you, you know, you're going to get, like, you know, the consequences are going to be less harsh. But see, like, like the caller just said, too, um, once you're in the streets, what is it next to do now? When you ask, okay, if you're already in the streets, what is it next? He said, keeping them in programs. Keeping them in programs. Now, when I was growing up, I always, you know, I had a buddy, Buddy Jerry. Never forget it. Never forget him. His pops had him in everything. Everything. Now, when it was time for certain little dudes around the neighborhood to, you know, go do little stuff that we did or <laughs> anything, you know what I mean? Throw rocks at cars, like all the shit that his Throw dad knew he was doing. No, no, seriously. Everything that his dad knew he was doing. He kept him active. He was when he stopped playing basketball, he was playing baseball. When he stopped playing baseball, shit, he was doing some damn what he do? He did uh, water polo. Hey. After that, he did soccer. See, when you keep him productive and active, it keeps their mind off of anything else. But see, me personally, I I, I can't like cuz I know a lot of parents that be like, "Man, I I got to work. I got to do this. I got to do it." Well, what about the the, the parents that work and have enough time to go pick their kids up from school and take them to practice and get back home and do whatever they did for their work. Like, what what happened to those parents? You have the parents now that just to throw their kids off on somebody else's parents. Always, yeah. Like, but it's, it's always been that way, too, though. You, it, you so just the excuses, give and take. yeah. It's, it's, it's an excuse it's, it's for always, a parent. It's if always a, an excuse for everything. Yeah, but a parent ain't never supposed to have that excuse and say, I don't See, have And then the time. even with the programs, where's the free programs? Because what about the parent who can't afford nothing but the rent and the food? And then you mm -hmm. got six kids and everybody want to play a sport and a sport is one fifty a piece. Whoa. Whoa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, here's a ball. And you know yeah, what that comes from? Outside. That comes from those big money name sponsors in the community that lie and use their name and act like they really uh, doing something for the low income housing people and say, I'm going to use my name because certain big name people can just use their name to get certain things funded. And they don't do that. Mm -hmm. They don't. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go into this caller right here. Uh, caller, you there? Yes, I'm here. What's going on, Carlin? What's your name? Uh, Hobo. Hobo. What's going on with you, Hobo? Sucker free, Mo. What's going on <laughs> with you, Dad? Hey, man, sucker free always, man. So you know, we uh we conversating about saving our youth, man, and you know, in a in a in a short form, how you feel we should um save our youth, not the long form. <laughs> not the long form. <laughs> Not the long form. <laughs> Not the long form, but just a, a a a a base, you know, small synopsis of how we should save our youth. How we should save our youth? Um, basically, uh, re-educate them, give them some real good education. Hey, now, now, does that come from in home or where do you feel that's coming from? I, I think that should come from some people that can teach them how to to go relearn about themselves to figure out what their flaws is and what they need to correct within themselves that's the best that's the best education right there the understanding of self to move forward in life right right the okay now self. i got one question for you before you go now you say that re-education now what if the people that they look for to get that education from not educated themselves then where do they go um I'm gonna break it down like this. Like I like I tell my cousins and uh, other relatives around me. I said basically, if anybody around you that want to store negative, want to bring out your negative aspects, they're no good for you. I consider those devils. 
Anybody around you that want to bring out your positive aspects, I consider those your guardian angels. Individuals that want to bring the best out of you. Hey. So surround yourself with those type of people. True. True indeed. That's the best education to have. I feel that all day. I, I, I feel that all day. Well, yeah, if it's anything else you need to say or you, 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 you got you want to say, you got it. Uh, if not, I appreciate that call, big hobo. All right, no problem. I'm finished. You said the short form, so I'm going to give it to you in the short form. Hey, man, raw and uncut. I was just seeing if you was listening to me, man. I appreciate you, man. All right. <laughs> hey, no, nah, respect, brother. Respect. All right. All right. Yeah, so uh, now that's a good one, you know, re-educating. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, you know, See, I have this saying, I don't fault, well, not just me, but I have a saying, don't, you know, don't fault the unknown, you know, fault the knowing. Yeah. So it's a lot of people that are unaware of what they do. And and I just had this conversation with somebody earlier, but a lot of people are unaware of the things that they do. So once they once they come to grips of knowing what they doing is wrong. Then at that point, if you don't change your life or change anything around you that you're doing, you're going to be subject to all the repercussions, all the back pay whenever you do get caught. It's like a it's like a, a, a thief or criminal. You know, they they just stealing and it's easy for them. And they keep doing it, keep mm-hmm. doing it. But once that one person pull them to the side and be like, hey, what you're doing is wrong. And they come to realization and know like, OK, yeah, what I'm doing is wrong. I'm a st- I need to stop, but they don't. The minute they do it again, that's when they get hit with the hellified sense. You're like, damn, you only stole a candy bar, <laughs> but you getting you getting caught for everything that you didn't get caught for. Same with people that do these crimes or like a a, a shooting, but they get them for attempted murder, <laughs> shooting in the school zone, everything else. But when you look at what they did before, they had signs before on stopping or or doing certain things so it's like what the problem nah i mean it is it's it's so far-fetched but that right there as far as the after school programs i dig that just programs period though teaching them things the re-education that's good too i i I feel that the parenting is like at that's at the top it, I'm a, it, it got to Well, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say if you out there and you doing good and, you know, you kind of got your head on straight, it is OK to like and, and I'm not even saying like you're bragging about it, but like to take somebody underneath your wing or you you never know who you inspire just each by one, each ta- one. Yeah. Just by talking to them. Like I have like a couple of people just in my life that I can think of right off top who affected my life where it, it changed. It changed. They changed me. Oh, look, we have a call. Let's call. Call it. Call you there. Yes, I am. Go ahead, Carla. What's your name? Hello, good people. This is Kalara. Hello, Hi, good people. Hello, Kalara. <laughs> hey, um, I just wanted to say really quickly, I had to step away from the phone, so I'm not sure if y'all covered this yet. But um, when it comes to, well, my opinion, when it comes to what we should do to save our children, I think, like everyone else has said, of course, it first starts at home. But I think we also have to understand that as parents and people in the community that we have to understand that we can't do it all and that we shouldn't feel guilty for not, you know, being able to do it all. Me being a single mother and, you know, knowing that sometimes I do have to facilitate outwards and ask for help, but also understanding that the people that I'm asking for are capable of filling those roles. So you have a lot of people who have the intentions on you know wanting to help the youth but are they capable but are they capable that is so that's crucial that's my two cents i won't keep y'all long but i appreciate that (laughs) y'all letting me speak my my mind oh no appreciate much it so i say good people i'm I'm gonna leave on that note (laughs) all right appreciate the call kalar all right all right so man that that was smart that are they capable of it and i and i think that sometimes you know, we fall short of that, and it's not asking the right people, but sometimes we just ask people. Yeah. It's just like you asking once, somebody once to she borrow said that, when, when she Once you said that, like, I really thought about it for myself because I'm like, man, but really the people who are capable, are they willing? That, that too, because, you know, somebody— Because it's a lot of capable people that, you know—I I mean, we can go with 
you know, investments or anything, you know. It's a lot of people Whoa. that's capable of investing in your future or something positive, but sometimes that's not what they want to see. Your vision is different from everybody else's vision. Or they don't even see you, period. They got their own agenda going on. No, like right now, we could go pitch something. And we talking about saving the youth, but that big city contract, they not worried about no damn youth. Right. They just worrying about this contract that they got for, you know, to... Uh, uh, um, redo the community from a tourist attraction. Right, and I'm talking about personal. I'm talking about oh, right. close in, like, you know, oh, you doing super good and you see one of your cousins is tripping, struggling, and you just like, oh, man, she's always messed up. She always doing something, but I'm about to go over here and make sure she don't stop what I got going. Man, you and you know, the funny thing about that is because it's still two sides to that story. Because for it, those that got every it... story. To those that got it that don't help, it's like, why they not helping? But we're going to touch on that when we get back, uh, why they not helping. And we're going to get into another song off this Point Guard of the Streets by Lil Bam. Y'all go ahead and get that. It's a long beach heat wave, pulling up for the year-round sunshine. Holla at me when you see me, round my city cause you know I run mine. Got my drink, folks, is blown. Feel like the whole town on one, but there ain't no place like home. Boy, we going, going, Ain't no city like mine, nigga. Bitches like mine, nigga. Sky so blue and the crypt stay fly, nigga. Heat wave, I had a low someone. Turn down for no one. 10th Street to 2 1. It's barbecue weather. Let's get the smoke cracking. Put the rest all the beach. Ain't no fucking guns clapping. Ain't no tripping over here. So keep it over there. You don't want this fucking problem. Get the fuck from around here. It's money making moves. We move on the money. Yeah, I'm loyal to my city. I ain't gotta stay, dummy. That one over your head. Cause I'm a real go getter. East side nigga. Pittsburgh still a trip low, my nigga said bam low we on I know the city hotter than the course on its own So I'ma do me and keep pushing for the peace Rich roll through the streets saying fuck the police yeah, I hit the switch, then I smash out Tank on four, never gassed out From what we do, what we rap about Take no loss, got another thing coming Trying to fuck mines off On lane, cut from my own cloth Cold nigga, brain full of cold thoughts You wanna get somewhere, you better get out that box Cause my mind go further than these crip blue socks I'm on one It's a long beach heat wave Pulling up for the year round sunshine Holla at me when you see me Round my city cause you know I run mine Got my drink, folks, it's blown Feel like the whole town on one But there ain't no place like home But boy, we going, uh, going, Just going. touched down in the city Scoop my nigga up, let's hit the streets for a minute Call a couple homies and some badass bitches Let's hit the store, let's get some blunts and drink and let's kick it We in the parking lot of VIP Post it up, Lil Bam, it's going down on me B-City got the low lows out More money, no problems, what it's all about Just dipping like dog and Dre Hit your ass with this east side shit, nigga Every day, kill a Cali, yeah, we rep it right We shining big like the strip of the Vegas lights Real hitters round here, motherfucker strike We get it in while you motherfuckers sleep through life For real We hitting ponies, celebrating through the night While I'm loving this California life Come on It's a Long Beach heat wave And we are back, Eastside Radio. You listening to Lil Bam? And it's your girl Sky over here. Man, and we talking about that. Uh, we talking about saving our youth. Um, it's real critical, real critical right now. You know, uh, to have for our youth to have a future. Because um, I don't, I don't see people. Pressing the issue on our youth having a future, meaning career wise. I mean, you know, we had those influences and images, -wise, man. images growing up, you know, as far as the, 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 the job. Everybody not going to be a basketball player. Everybody not going to be a football player. But now everybody is a rapper. That's the new <laughs> that's the new sport. Everybody is a rapper. Everybody is rapping. Everybody is producing. You hit the pots and pans. That's all we got now. Right? Hey. Everybody feels that all we got is music. If you hit them pots and pans, that's a beat right there. So they going, I mean, and that's a focus as well. But the focus not on security now. Nobody is focusing on security. Nobody. Now, 
Yeah, by you rapping, is that going to put you in line with a pension, a 401k? Is that going to put you in line with health benefits? I mean, it's I mean, you can you can go you can go so far with it, but everybody is looking at things that can well, I think be people, gone tomorrow. But people are like zero to a hundred. Like people, they don't want to work Fast at like money. Uh, McDonald's or something. Like, oh man, that's nothing. I'm gonna be a rapper and I'm about to be on in like a month or something. But you know, you don't have to work at <laughs> you don't you don't have to work at McDonald's or Jack in the Box to be whatever. You know, if you take the time and and just like music, you have to learn a craft. You have to go to stu- school and study if that's you know, or if you want to start a business, you have to take each step. You can We did. We you just don't get on. We just don't. It just don't happen like that. When and I say for those, I don't. It's. No disrespect to the McDonald's worker or the or the or the Starbucks worker. But if you feel that you are too good for that job or or for that line of work, then you make sure you go harder in school or whatever it is that you need to do to get to where you want to get. So, I mean, it's I'm not disrespecting those jobs, but it's certain things that, yeah, of course, I would say I wouldn't. Well, I'm saying there's nothing else. It's like either work at, you know, a fast food restaurant or something or be a rapper. Like, don't know or, or a CNA, you know, or a nurse or whatever. But I think people I think <laughs> no. people limit their opportunities because that's that's all they certain people don't want to read no more. But they people don't, don't think outside the box and the teachers ain't telling you like, oh, yeah, you can be an engineer. You Look, this fool just created Facebook and he's a billionaire. You can create something similar. You can create apps. There's so many different right. avenues now that you don't have to just be a rapper or a jack in the box worker. Like, man, it, you can be there and not even just lawyers like. No, look it up like you can type in jobs online like and all these different types of jobs will pop up like getting something different. But it's I see. I can't even think e- of it. Even that with the, even even, right. even that with the schools, you know, even see the schools could do a better job at saving the youth, too. But the schools just turned their backs. That I, I mean, this is me personally. Like it's I know tired. a lot of schools that they OK, they stop their programs for whatever reason. They say that. See, this this is what's fucked up, too. They are saying they budget. No, no, it ain't no budget. Fuck that. They lie about that shit. Because, no, no. It's a they, budget. They, okay, yeah, they say the budget, but then when you look at the football field, that motherfucker look like the damn stadium. You think in the new NFL football team, team, team to finna in. come yeah. play on that. Because new it's, lights. You're right, you're right, you're right. They focus on what's bringing money in in the school. Mm-hmm. What's the attraction in the school. But, I mean, just think about it. Name five 4.0 students. They used to do it. They used to have it in the papers back in the day. They used to have it in the papers. It was a section in the papers that, that acknowledged everybody with a 4.0 GPA. That's tight. Now you don't even know who's at a 3.0, 3. Point, well, it was 4.0s and then uh, the 3.5 and better. But 4.0s, they got acknowledged in the, in the paper, and I know that for sure. But it's like, damn, they don't do that no more. Now you get noticed for being a top athlete, horrible grades. You could, long as you making money or bringing attraction to that school, that's what we gonna pay for. But when you need to do something academically, ah, uh, well, you know we're kind of short on funds, and we need to now they want you to go sell beef jerkies and shit to go, you know, like sell the raffle tickets, sell the candy bars at the you grocery know, store. It, it, it's like that's that's not cool. I mean, unless you was doing that to teach a person, you know, um, how to go get it or how to be independent. That would be the only way I'd be going to sell some damn candy bars. But I'm selling some damn candy bars for a program that we got money for that y'all using for something else. That's fucked up. So you basically using me. And if I don't sell all the candy bars, my mom got to pay the remainder balance. Balance? Oh, man. Fuck you. <laughs> man, it, I'm telling you, it's, 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 it's sad. But it is crucial. It, I know that it's still certain if 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 we could get certain people that really start paying back, paying that attention to the youth and start getting those programs, because even like the the youth football league, whether it's the hey. Snoop League and and the Pop Warner, that shit done became an adult battle now. Yeah, it did. You know well, shout mean? out to uh, my mom; she started that out here in Long Beach. Started what? She started the Ogjaf uh, Long Beach Stars Football League. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. <laughs> But that that's becoming a, 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 a up battle for the parents. Now, the 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 thing is, they're not even letting the kids play no more. And certain kids is being pressured 
into being the top running back, and it ain't even what they want to do. But it's bragging rights well, for their parents. Yeah, because that's all they know. That's all their parents know. Like their parents don't think outside the box to think like, man, you don't have to be, you don't have to play football. They're not taking their kid a aside. You can be a plastic surgeon, right? <laughs> you know, we in kids, LA. What What do you want to do? What do, what do you want to do? What is it that you want to do? And oh, see? If a lot of... Boom, right there before you before you go in. A way to help the youth. Ask them what they want. First off, we don't even know what they want. You don't even know what your kids like or nothing. Oh, you don't like that? Oh, you're going to eat it anyways. Well, if yeah. If you ain't got no choice, you ain't got no wants. But 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 no. And, and, and actually, if you're a good parent, and, you know, it's not saying anybody that just bad parents, but when you are a good parent, when if you notice... You you don't when you under your parents roof, you don't have no say so. You supposed to be guided by your parents on on what to do, how to do it. But You're not supposed to be. Oh, this is what I they supposed to have enough knowledge and education about themselves and you and the direction that your life should be going in to. OK, this is what you OK. This is how you do this. This is how you do this. Now, they're going to give you room to explore and broaden out and be you. But at the end of the day, you can't just sit up there and this is what I'm going to do. Well, not of course not. Under that's, this that's what I'm, no, that's, no, no, that's not they, what I'm saying, no, but of course. No, no, no. It's not that's what you're saying, but that's what's done a lot of times. Well, you, you're looking at teenagers. Of course, to every, I, have I don't not, give a damn. I haven't you're a teenager. Met a teenager I haven't met a teenager yet who who didn't think they knew it all. Like, when you were 17, did you was like, oh, yeah, my dad is right. My mom is right. I'm going to do exactly what they said. I'm about to go to school and I'm about to. Are you like, man, all right. See, this ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> oh, all of a sudden, this ain't got nothing to do with me. But <laughs> ain't got shit to do so, with me. But you have to take that in consideration. Oh, okay. I will, but I'm going to tell you this. They're already going to think right. they know everything. Yeah, well, when I was, I, I was arguing with my dad, I, have I was so right. so many family members it's so many different ages i'm i just look at them like okay like i'm okay i know not yeah. to come at her like because she already thinks she know everything you ask my pops he'd say <laughs> i got the napoleon complex that's what that's what my pops say i'd be like this dude but i mean <laughs> shit you know i i was i was taught to voice my voice my opinion like my my pops i mean that's what that's i seen him i, I watched him on certain things you know what i mean i, I watched him and the way he was outspoken. That's how I'm outspoken. I don't hold shit in. You know, I mean, I, it's just no, it, it's not filtered. It's not captioned. I just don't it's hold shit captioned. in. Yeah, it's not captioned. No closed I'm, caption. No, I'm not finna caption nothing. For what? I'm not finna do that. But sometimes my pops was a little over uh, aggressive with it. But saying that to say this, when I, when, once I start seeing where I got certain things from, sometimes you battle with yourself. Like even with my pops. We arguing certain ways he wouldn't know how to come at it because it's damn near like it's himself as well. Mm -hmm. This is what you created. And you don't know how to deal with what you create when you never been up against nothing. You know what I mean? It's like you, y your kids going to emulate you, but they going to say something to you one day that sounds exactly like you. And when you never been hit with your own shit. See, but I feel like I sound like my mom every day, like ever, since like I'm pretty I, sure you man, threw your every, mom off guard a couple times before. Every day I be like, oh, I sound like my mom. Every day I say that now. But The but, older I get, the more I sound like you. No, him. but to her, if you guys are having a disagreement, argument, however you want to say it, and you say something to her that sounds just like her, it's going to throw her off. She's not going to have a comeback. Okay. She's not going to have a comeback because sometimes it, it's, just like a, it's just like a person that's used to whooping people's ass. Mm -hmm. They never lost a fight. They never been hit. The minute they get hit, they don't know. They stun like this motherfucker really hit me. They, I mean, they might still, they still gonna fight, but the 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 shock just of getting hit. They like this motherfucker hit me. They never got hit before, so you know. I mean, with with all that being said, it's still ways, and it's still. I I, I think we should get back into that. You know, community wise. You know, opening something in the community where whereas I mean, they they say it's no money. It's no I mean, you can open up a computer center, teach kids how to use, you know, even if it's entertainment, even if it's music, teach them how to do the music behind the scenes, not being a rapper. Oh, be yeah, you could be an engineer. Yeah, you could be a light, light, you know, a, a, 
a light engineer, if you want to call it that. You know, because they technical have, director. They have you can be a director. Con- you could be a producer. I mean, and I'm not saying music producer. You can produce movies. You can be in film. No, you, you can could, write scripts. You can. You could do it go all. And be, you, you could do it all. But the main thing I'm is, just saying, there's so many different options that people don't. People are unaware of. People are unaware of their options. They feel like you know this is all they have. Because they, well... Because of everything around them. No, oh, yeah, and, th- and the parents still trying to hustle, and uh, I'm trying to get it for us, and, well, really, it's not us. You're trying to get it and get it, because if you look at it, too, it's another thing. You want, you want to get to the kids, and you want your kids to be better, but it's like you have to, you have to start with their parents, too, when you're getting to them, but it's like, damn, I'm looking at this parent... See, but then this parent is more sharper than they kid. They more cleaner than they kid. So you got that sometimes. Yeah. Now, I already know where this conversation is going to go when I come approach this person. But why do you look better than your kids? Why your daughter hair not gone? No, I mean, I mean, kid walking and had the kid's shoes, you know, the, the left foot is on, on the, the right, right foot. <laughs> And you just sitting there just, I mean, brought him out the house like that. And the little, little kid, two years old. Like, man, why? That's what he do. I'm going to just let him do him. I'm going to let him do what he want to do. Like, I told him the ones to put it on. You told him? Oh, you told the two-year-old. You told to, the two-year-old to, to put do his it, shoes huh? on. And he didn't do it. I'm like, man, his shoes man. ain't even tied, man. He's, he's still working on that one. He's still working on it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be a battle. It's, it's going to be a real... <laughs> Oh, but that has a lot to do with young parents as well. Parents who, like she said, man, you you have your kid and now you're forced to grow up. And that's 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 the sad part. Like even when these kids have kids at 14, you not even you not even fully developed within yourself to even know how to care. You forced into that. adulthood. They now. don't even know that. Like you know, they they look at it glam- like you know what they're doing is. Glamorous. Uh, yeah, it is. It's glamorous. You know, you're, they're grown ups. Like, oh, we're being grown. Like, because grown ups have, I can't wait till I get grown. I can't, man, every, I still hear it. Man, stop saying that. Y'all can wait. It's horrible. Well, <laughs> it's not well, horrible, but man, for real, like, slow down. A it's few okay. things, a few Travel. things I could say before we See go is parents need to be better parents. Parents need to stop letting their kids shut the door in their house. If it's your house and you paying the damn bills and the rent, what the hell is your damn 10-year-old or 12-year-old closing their damn room door for? Talking about they need privacy. If you have parents that say, oh, well, you know, she need her pri-. She is 10. What do she? What privacy do she need? That's why they, parents don't know their kids now no more. They don't know their kids. They just they, they have them, let them do what they do. Parents be in, more involved in your kid's life. I don't care if it's sports activities. I mean, show them how to be independent business men and business women, sisters and brothers. Be a little bit more involved with your siblings, because I mean, I think that's where we lacking that too. Uh, you know, your 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 siblings shouldn't even, look at another person even, as a brother before they look at their own as a brother. I say family is family. Family is family. I'm sorry because I have brother, I have brother, I have sisters, and then I have cousins who are like sisters and brothers. And I look at all of them as my brothers and sisters. I see people on the street. I treat them how I treat my family. Be if if, I, if I'm involved like that. If I love you, I'm gonna treat you like my family. I'm not gonna oh my brother, so I love him more. No, I love everybody the same. That's that's where that's where we get messed up at. Oh no, I don't love him like my brother, so I'm gonna let him do it. No, come on, uh, brother though, you gotta come with me. We going in the house. Let that fool go out and do that stupid. Nah. Everybody get your ass in the house. Ain't nobody going out doing no stupid. Everybody getting their ass whooped. Well, we that's how my grandma braised us. We gonna end it on that note. And uh, <laughs> everybody, thank y'all, listeners. Thank the callers for calling in. I appreciate that for you know the interaction with Eastside Radio. Y'all go ahead and uh, follow us everywhere. Us. Talk Eastside Radio is the uh, Instagram, and Talk Eastside Radio is the Facebook. So Tune it's Talk Eastside yeah. Radio. Yep. And go and get that little bam. It's all over the internet. <laughs> and follow Sky. Follow me. Blue as the sky. Yeah. Blue as the sky. Blue as the blue. Blue as the word. <laughs> blue as the blue. <laughs> Until next time. We up out of here. Hey. Pull your car. 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 Pull your
where the killers was raised. Swim with the sharks and we bang for days. The logo on the hat represent your gang. And the skinny niggas be the quickest niggas to fade. And we always on point like Stacy Adams. The east side niggas carry heat and they blast them. Cause any given day you can get your carpool. Watch them mirrors while you dip in the carpool. Shit gets crazy in the belly of the beast. It's like a rumble in the jungle when he side Long Beach. Yeah, I love my city cause Long Beach with it. Long Beach niggas rock Long Beach finish. So I'll show you how to dip them lanes. Pop them things when them niggas ain't a part of your game. I've been doing this for way too long. In a city that's strong and Lil Bam gon' hold his own cause. Life ain't easy, it's so hard. Got me thinking about Long Beach Boulevard. Cause I'm any given day. Somebody pull your car. Yellow chucks across the wood flow Dipping down the one way I had to escape Didn't even get a chance to grab my little Bam tape Mad with no music, I had to flee dumb Crooked ass cops trying to seize my freedom G'd up, always keep heat like Charles Bronson And always on some OG shit like Bobby Johnson My head in some books while my ears in the streets Hard to keep your kids safe in the belly of the beast I wanna do this for my lovers that'll never see the streets A fist for black power